probably not. I don't know. I actually... Okay. I, I kind of... En I enjoy it. I, I like it, actually. It gets um, better maybe if you get more drunk. Because feel I'm feeling it. I feel you feel a little buzzy. A little bit. I like it. I don't think it... It doesn't have any bitter, to me, hops flavor that I normally am not a fan of. Maybe that's a girl thing. Maybe. I don't know. Girls like fruity beers, yes, you know. Yes, that's true. I am and, a fruity beer fan. And she likes... No, the, um, you like kind of the malt beverages and stuff like that, too. Maybe not the Smirnoff shit. But. No, not that so much. Not since freshman year of college. Yeah, she, those days are behind her. Those I'm trying to exercise behind. her of that problem. Um, I like it. I don't think it's hard. For, for me, it's easy to drink, actually. Actually, I find the it more I'm drinking this actually now, the more it is getting easier. Because I think my palate has gotten used to this. To it's it? gotten accustomed to this beer. So as I'm drinking more of it, I can... It, it's fine. It's not refreshing and summery. No, not at all. In my taste, but I I like it. I don't have a problem with it. I would I would buy it again. Well, you let's know. do the thumb test, shall we? All right, I'm giving this beer a thumbs down. Two I, thumbs down. Two, I mean, I it's either two thumbs up or two. I mean, my There's thumbs. No. I, yeah, it's not kind of like oh. I give it two thumbs down. I, I don't give one thumb or two thumbs. It's like it's either all or nothing. To me, it's down. Initial taste would turn me off initially. Like, if I just had a taste of this mm -hmm. and somebody gave it to me, I would initially go, no, eh, go away, go away, beer. I don't like you anymore. So, to me, it's thumbs down. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I actually like it. I find it easy to drink. I don't get a lot of guava flavor. Oh, actually, kind of had a little burp, and I did get a little guava. See, you got a burp. Um, it's the burp that... It's the burp. Or ...gives you the flavor, I guess. Yeah, but it's better like up it. than it's, out. It's We're easy in. to easy to drink um heavy but not so heavy that it's like i don't know i had a i have a lot easier time with this than our last review with the caramel well, or, that, i'm sorry the creme brulee that was just sweet on sweet whereas this is different it's a different beast altogether right. like this isn't this isn't a dark beer this isn't a dark beer by any means it's a heavy beer However, it's not going to fill you... It may fill you up a little bit. It's, it's not a stout or an imperial where it's like, I feel bad or I feel heavy right. after drinking this. It's light. With with the alcohol, since it's 8%, mm -hmm. you're getting the heaviness of the alcohol. However, it's a Belgian, so it's lighter. And that's where you're probably where you're getting your alcohol of volume from, from the Belgian style of it. Mm -hmm. However, it's a fruit beer and a malt. So the malt is heavy, but the fruit is a... It should be refreshing. To me, it's not. That's why I didn't like it at all. I think that's... Yeah, that would be my only downside to it. It's not refreshing, but I find it tasty. I like it. It's it's not. I don't really get a bitter flavor from it. I don't get. I get, like, I get that more sour. Hard... I get sour. I don't get bitter initially, but it, it okay. initially it is to me. It's bitter. It's a bitter sour fruit guava. So it's that's like, kind of I guess what it is. Yeah, it's a bitter sour fruit. So if you like bitter sour fruits, tropical fruits, you'll probably like it. Uh, if you like Belgians, it has that Belgian quality to it, where it's a, it's a, it's kind of effervescent and it's also kind of uh, it's thick. Uh, it's got the I guess you can maybe find the undertones of clove and banana, perhaps for the Belgian style of it. I really think it tastes almost identical to a first press cider. I feel like I get I get more apple to me. I don't know, maybe really? my palate's all weird, but I like it. Uh. I really like it. Okay, well, we'll have to agree to disagree on this one. We agreed on the first one. Yeah. This one we went different ways. Hmm. Interesting. It wasn't, it didn't catch me on, I mean, this beer, it didn't intrigue me on the first sip. It, I was very against it from the, not from the beginning before drinking it, but upon drinking it, I was like, oh, this is not for me. My palate was not ready for this beer. There's a small beverage. I guess you could call it a beer. It's not they a malt beverage. They call it a, a Belgian style ale. Yeah, it's a Belgian style ale. I don't know. counterpart. Yeah, I'm yang to my yang, yang to my yang, whatever you want to say. So, so we'll that, leave it up to you. We'll leave it up to you. The, yes. So if you can get Cigar City. If you can get Cigar area. City, and if you can't, maybe we'll do a beer trade. A trade? For you people who can't get Cigar City. And, and you can decide for yourself yeah, whether you, you can like it or don't like it. I hope you got some good stuff, like some Pliny the Elder or something like that, because I want to taste that beer. That sounds like something from The Hobbit. I know, right? It sounds like it's from, like, Mordor. Pliny the Elder. Pliny the Elder. <laughs> that drunk troll over A drunk there. troll is drunk of his own supply of crazy shit. And I'm, we're doing this longer today because you know what? We could do 15 minute videos now, YouTube. Wow. Yeah. Did you know that? Ha. 
15, 15 minutes. minutes. So you can just go on forever and be nuts. And I think to, for the most part, we stayed on track for the beer today. Yeah. I think I mean, that was key. It wasn't a lot. I mean, we were talking about the beer for a good 10 minutes. In our southern tier, we, yeah, we kind were, of went off topic a little we were bit. Fucking, we were fucking around. I don't want to say Trying to focus. Yeah, we focused focus. this time. But we, I think we gave you a pretty goddamn good review of this beer because we were on top of it. I think now we're going off topic. Now we're kind of going off topic, but we're telling you how good the review is. And she's getting better because she even told you what guava is. You're not going to get that in another review, people. You're not going to get people saying, well, maybe some hey, people don't you know, know what? Yeah, now they know because you told them what guava is. I know it's a fruit. And now you know it's a tropical and fruit that's you know pink inside. Woo, fruit. so much knowledge. And guava ween. Guava ween. Guava ween, where the people are crazy in Tampa. It's like mm -hmm. Mardi Gras in Florida. Mm -hmm. But with guava. I don't think there's any guava involved. Are there beads? Are there lifting your shirts up for beads? Yes. Sadly. There you go. Guava ween for you people who can't make it to Mardi Gras. What, what time of year is Guava ween though? Right around? In the fall. Oh, oh it's in the, in fall. the fall. Oh. Around Halloween. <sighs> I said Halloween earlier. Sorry. How did, how did this not make the connection? I just disconnected. Anyway, okay, we're done, people. All right. So, once again, I give it thumbs down. I give it thumbs up. Make it make your own decision. This is democracy. You can vote your own way. Anyway, we're out of here. Don't forget to subscribe. And let us know if we're not doing something right. I think we are. Actually, let us know if we're doing something right. Yeah, okay, yeah, that. I tell, mean, us, tell us what you like. Tell us what you like. You can private message me and tell me what you don't like, and then I can yell at you privately. But nobody really yells at me. Only, don't, cl only, don't clutter. Don't go clutter the page my effing with, inbox. With I don't the, want your trolling no. and your spam and your no. flaming no. and all those other internet tw things they say about people who say bad stuff. Yeah, we don't want that. Like all you jerk offs that always were saying bad things about me for my eastbound and down reviews. Don't point. No, why is it impolite? <laughs> it's impolite. <laughs> it's impolite even in cyberspace. <laughs> all right. Okay, we're so, out here. Subscribe, so, comment, let us know what you like. And try Cigar City, Guava, Grove, if you can. I say try your own risk. If not, too bad. If but you can. If you can, just try it. See if you like it. And maybe you will. Maybe you won't. All right. We'll see know. you next time. Take it easy, guys. See you. Beers and beards.